Hey guys, just out in the garage, I'll uh, give you a quick update on the uh, 78 that I've been working on. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, I've been real busy, so uh, let's go over there and take a look at that. And I got some good news on the 77. Uh, like I told you before, I was having trouble with, uh, it was drawing, uh, it was killing the battery, there was a dead short somewhere. Well, I had just replaced the voltage regulator and the alternator and several other things. And it turns out it was the voltage regulator. The brand new voltage regulator was, was faulty. So I put a new voltage regulator on it. The thing starts every time. Got the transmission leak was uh, leaking a little bit. I got it all fixed up. So uh, that's good, ready to go. Just got to get her all cleaned up. I'm ready for that to drive. And uh, let's go take a look at the 78. All right, so you can see we got the, uh, now I just have the side window louvers. They're just sitting there for right now, but uh, uh, they look pretty nice because I still have to, uh, you can see the uh, this piece I put in the middle, it's kind of, uh, it's darker to match a little bit, to match the wheels. Uh, I painted all the trim around the lights, and we'll go back here, and I painted the uh, ground down the metal for the taillight brackets because they're all pitted and they look like crap, so that looks pretty nice. I like the, uh, the slate kind of gray, and you can see I got the spoiler on. See how well it fits? Now, obviously, uh, the hatch latch isn't on yet, so it's a little up. But uh, got the louvers on there. They're just sitting there right now, but that's how they're going to look. I think they look pretty nice. And uh, you can see uh, I did a series of stripes. thought they looked pretty nice. A couple of different stripes on there. And uh, I think the side louvers are going to look pretty good. Um, these are the pieces that I made out of another piece of trim. They don't look too bad. Uh, this side, I only put two rivets in. I don't know if I'm too crazy. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or I'm going to build something else. And uh, so we'll go from there. But so I said, all this trim, I'm going to paint this color. So uh, we still got to do a little bit of that. You see, I got the door panels in. Door panels are nice and they're just as nice as these. They're original. They look pretty nice. They're in. And they fit perfect the handle everything fits perfect with the roll bars so then i'm gonna so the next thing i'm gonna do obviously i'm gonna get this all carpeted i've got the console in the other room got brand new carpet get all the seats bolted down get that ready to go and i got the t-top trim it's all painted it's all in place and uh here let's uh you can see now, uh, the T-top, all the new trim is in and it's riveted, just like it was originally. So like, I'm just gonna have to find that felt piece that goes over the rivets. It goes around. So it all fit up pretty nice, all the new rubber. I just have these sitting here right now. So uh, the only thing I've noticed, the only downfall is this used to have a Targa band, which you all know I took, I got rid of the Targa band. And that's probably why there's a little bit of a discrepancy in the trim. They weren't too carried it. They didn't care too much about the trim because the Targa band covered it right there. So, and then this hole, they cut holes in this because the Targa band went over top of the edge of this. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here yet, um, but I'll figure something out. I probably should have just welded it up weld it and ground it up before i put it on but eh you won't really even notice it so um it's pretty shiny i just have to it needs washed and i'm gonna have to do a nice final coat of wax maybe a little more buffing and uh you guys better look at the stripes i think the stripes turned out pretty cool i like the uh several different colors the thicknesses and the, the lines on the stripes so uh, I got these uh, these are door interior pieces that go on the back across the back hatch so this is looking pretty good everything's in place all the uh, rubber trim you can see all the way around all new trim, all new or rubber, I should say. And then I just, it meets right here in the middle. So it turns out 
I'll show you what I use to hold that down. Um, I think the spoiler turned out pretty nice just from, from the pattern that I showed you how to do to make the holes bolted right in. So, you know, it's in, it's pretty much perfect. Um, so what I use, there's the other side. See this side, I put three rivets. I should have only did two because after I did this side first, I realized when I did the other, I shouldn't have put the one in the middle. So I may do something new. Swap meets will be coming up pretty soon. I'll find something. So this is what I used. Uh, Permatex. Just a gasket maker. And I just used this one's in an aerosol. But you, you don't have to use that. They all work pretty good. And I just ran this thing. Ran a bead of it all the way around. And then just started putting the rubber down. Now I will tell you. It was kind of a pain in the ass putting that down by yourself because that big long piece that's all one strip of rubber it would have helped to have somebody hold it so it what i did was i put it in place and then taped it as i went and got it all around turned out pretty good so um but the the louvers they actually underneath here there's two screws there's holes in the in this here they, they'll screw in i'll get stainless actually i might even just pop rivet I might just pop rivet them in up here. And then the original the original hold down for here is it's almost like a slide door latch. They go one goes here and one goes here. And uh and they actually screw into this. And I don't really want to put holes here necessarily. I will if I have to, but I'm not crazy about it. But if anybody knows a 6970 Mustang, the louvers, they have a uh, louver hold downs that actually, they're really cool looking and they're back here. They hold back here and here. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look into getting a set of them. And I'm still tossing around some hood pins. I think these look pretty cool with some hood pins. So, I may, I may still do some hood pins up front. I think that might look pretty cool. So we'll see. So I appreciate you checking it out. Uh, you know, little by little, I'm getting her done. Uh, pretty soon the whole interior will be done. Everything will be waxed, washed, buffed. Everything's all that. It's going to be shiny as a brand new penny. And then uh, we'll start working on... Uh, the engine i guess i probably should have got it running first but it'll run i'll make it run it's i mean so uh that's not a big deal and then uh i gotta hook and bleed the brakes and uh, we'll get that running get the engine compartment all cleaned up and uh this thing will be driving this summer so make sure you uh like these videos tag them hit the notification so every time i make a new one you're the first to know i appreciate you guys watching i think i'm up to uh I'm over 400 and 430 subscribers. I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty awesome for uh, just some dude that's working on a couple Mustang too. So I appreciate you guys watching everything and uh, I'll see you next time.